So this month's um, housing market report, I just want to take a second and just share a little bit of national news that has to deal with, you know, kind of what's happening out there, you know, overall and how it's going to might how this might impact us um, locally. So just recently, the White House announced that they're going to extend the mortgage forbearance. And what that means is they've been postponing or not requiring people to make their mortgage payments ever since the COVID pandemic started, you know, in April, May uh, of last year. So there's been this fear that a massive um, wave of foreclosures are going to come onto the market because they were going to lift this moratorium at the end of July. Well, it was just announced just the other day that the moratorium is now postponed until the end of September. So what exactly does this all mean? Well, at the height of this, there was about three and a half million homeowners in forbearance. A year later, there's half of that. It's official. It's been cut in half. Here's a recent article from Housing Wire that states um, exactly that. We are at 3.5 million in, uh, this is by September, October of 2020. Now we're approaching September. We're at 1.75 million. This is great news. So what does it mean going forward um, here in Tucson and nationally for that matter? Well, one thing is for sure, um, here in Tucson, our inventory is still extremely low. Uh, our sales are up with regards to year over year. And I just wanna show you a stat here too, you can see this here. And our home values have increased almost 24% over the last 12 months. Now, that number is just totally out of this world. We generally see home values rise, you know, three to 5% per year in real estate. However, going back to that fear that all these foreclosure homes are gonna come on, Probably not very likely uh, because it's just been demonstrated over the last 12 months. Most homeowners have so much equity that they could sell and they did sell. However, there are so many of those people in those 1.75 million houses that were probably renting those houses and the landlords could not evict them during the moratorium. So some of them may come on the market. Some of them might just continue to be rented with new tenants. But the point is, is that the flood that we thought was going to happen is probably not going to happen. You hear the things about housing crisis and all this kind of stuff. This is what it's all been around. But locally, I can assure you, uh, inventory, as you can see here, homes for, day, for sale is down almost 30%. Um, home values are up almost 24%, which we know is a real high number. But if you go across all of the stats that are out there, everything is very positive. Most homes, as you can see here, are selling for about 101 to 102 percent of asking price. The problem we have is a lack of supply. It's not because we have massive demand; it's there is a huge lack of supply here, especially in the West. And Tucson, obviously, is right there in the heart of it. So, what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, inventory is still low. Interest rates are still terrific but it will be competitive if you get out there in the market to purchase a house. Therefore, you're gonna to wanna to be prepared and find a property to move into if you cannot purchase something or continue the lease that you have. If you're thinking about selling, definitely prepare yourself in the same way a buyer would. Know where you're going to move if you're not gonna buy here locally. If you are gonna purchase here locally, I would encourage you to try to purchase first and then put your house on the market because homelessness is real. If you've seen my last few videos, um, there are a lot of people who have sold and couldn't find a property to move into. So with all that being said, if you're considering buying or selling, let's talk because there's a couple other things I wanna share with you as well that are important. The homelessness one is definitely very real and there are some ways to get ahead of that and prepare properly. So, but thanks for always for tuning into my videos. If you should have any questions, you wanna talk more about it, just get in touch and we can do just that, thanks.